Hi, this video is about an RCA 700 watt microwave. This one's the RMW 733. I chose the microwave most, mostly on its size. It was the only microwave I could find that would fit inside this cabinet here. And this is a 12 and three quarter inch wide opening. And so the microwave is on a drawer slide and it comes on out all the way out where you can, you can get to it pretty easily when you want to, when you want to use it. It's pretty nice. It's uh it replaces about a, I think it was a 15 or 1600 watt GE, and it does about the same. Uh, I couldn't tell you any difference. I mean, it, to me, it works the same, only it's a little smaller in size. But the uh, it's got a rotating uh, table here. Our other microwave didn't have that, and this kind of helps it cook more evenly, I think. You can probably see in the back, there's a heavy duty coiled power cord there. That's a 12 gauge uh, retractable power cable I got from McMaster Car. So when you re when you push the microwave in, it, the coil kind of collapses into itself, and it won't hang up or bind up or get tangled up. And the microwave is actually just sitting on here. There's uh, some holes drilled in a little plywood uh, plate here, and the holes are lined up with the feet of the microwave, so it just kind of drops down in there and sits. And it won't, it's pretty stable, it won't go anywhere unless you lift it straight up and then it comes right out and it just unplugs. And uh, happy with the microwave except, uh, you know, it does everything we'd like it to do, and it, but it does one thing we don't really like it to do. And that's, it trips a 15 amp breaker randomly every now and then. And trying to figure out what it is about that. Uh, the breaker is new and so is the microwave. And so I'm trying to figure out is it the... Is the breaker super sensitive or is the microwave uh, pulling more current than it should? And so um, I've got another set of micro, I've got another microwave oven, same model, and I've got some more breakers, same breakers, and I'm going to be doing some bench testing to figure out how much current th this microwave requires under different loads and different conditions. And I'm also going to be uh, providing it power through the 15 amp breakers. So, um, I'm, I want to figure out what what requires, you know, what makes that breaker trip. So I've got a few breakers to test, plus uh, the one that's actually installed in the distribution panel right now. I'm going to do it on a bench outside. And I'm going to be providing it a power from a 100 amp circuit. So um, nothing. the first thing that's going to trip is going to be the, uh, the 15 amp breaker that I'm testing. And so I'll keep you posted on as to what I find out. Hopefully... Hopefully it's just the breaker. Um, maybe it's the microwave. I don't know. I'll find out. I really want to know because, you know, it's my house and I want to make sure it's right. And so thanks for watching. I hope you, hope you enjoyed the video. and Stay tuned if you want to um, be notified as to uh, what I find out with the, the microwave investigation. So click like and subscribe and you'll be notified. And thanks for watching.